Hey, what's up guys? Fusionate here. I took a little break from YouTube for some time and, as you can see, ended up rebranding my YouTube channel. I'll talk a little bit about this and give a sort of channel update in another video in the future, but for now, I'm actually reviving the PC Build Guide series I had going on some time back. With so many new games coming out, and the increasing popularity of PC exclusives, such as, you know it, H1Z1, King of the Kill, League of Legends, and Counter-Strike, there'll never be a better time to make the jump to the PC platform. However, console prices have been dropping, and with the introduction of the PS4 Pro and future release of the Xbox Scorpio, powerful graphics and high resolution gaming will be available at super affordable prices. So how can PC gaming compete? Let me show you guys, in this video I'll be outlining the parts for a $400 PC build that can achieve high settings or even ultra settings in all modern games while giving you all the benefits of PC gaming, such as free online play, 4000 plus games, etc. For the first part of this build, we have the AMD FX 4300 CPU. It has 4 cores, which is all you need for modern gaming, and clocks in at about 3.8 GHz, which is very good for something stock. We won't be utilizing an aftermarket CPU cooler due to the budget constraints of this build, but the stock cooler should do just fine, as we won't be needing to overclock this CPU. At $65, you cannot go wrong with this one. The motherboard I went with is something basic and low cost. The MSI 760 GMA P34FX. It lacks most popular features such as 4 RAM slots and multiple GPU slots, but it gets the job done for what we're going for here. I went with standard ADATA 8GB of RAM for memory, as 8GB is all you need for gaming, and all you'll probably ever need. If you ever feel like adding more RAM, you're in luck. Despite the motherboard having two RAM slots, as this is a 1 8GB stick configuration, rather than two 4GB sticks. At $46 for 8GB of 1600MHz speed memory, this is a great deal. To match the PS4 Pro, and today's gaming needs, and with popular games like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto surpassing the 50GB mark, a 1TB hard drive is the minimum to satisfy most avid gamers' needs. At $40 for the Western Digital AVGP 1TB drive, you're only paying $5 more than your average 500GB drive, so you have a much higher price to storage ratio. The most important part of any gaming PC build is the video card, or graphics card as most people call it. This dictates the graphics settings you play at, the frame rate you get, etc. This is the meat of the build basically. So with NVIDIA releasing the GTX 1050 Ti just 3 months ago, there was no better option for this price point. The 1050 Ti will give you far more power than the base PS4 or Xbox One while consuming a record low 71 watts of energy. This card averages over 60 FPS on The Witcher 3, at 1080p medium settings, which doubles what the base PS4 could do in terms of frame rate on The Witcher 3 while also bumping the resolution up. Also, if you get the Zotac version I'm talking about, you get it slightly overclocked. The 1050 Ti also contains 4GB of high-speed video memory, meaning you can run high and ultra textures on all games, and multiple monitors are supported. At 150 bucks, this is definitely the best value GPU on the market. With the case, I went with something super basic and maybe a little ugly, just to keep the price as low as possible. The Rosewell FBM-01 will only cost you about 20 bucks and is rather small so you can fit it anywhere. Just don't expect any good cooling options for your computer with this case. Lastly, we have the Corsair VS400 watt power supply. This power supply is 80 plus certified, and it's from Corsair, arguably the most trusted power supply brand. 400 watts seems like a little, but thanks to the 71 watt 1050 Ti, this machine will only output around 254 watts, which is well under this power supply's limitations. And with that, we have the entire PC build completed. You will get a guaranteed minimum 1080p resolution on every game, with high settings and frame rates always hovering around 45 to 50 FPS and above 60 in most games. At only 400 bucks, with the countless perks that come with PC gaming, you cannot go wrong with this build. Understand that prices are subject to change, so act fast if you want to build this computer. Link in the build in the description below. Anyway, that's all for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Expect more PC build guides in the future, and be sure to drop a comment below on what kind of price point you would like to see. You can definitely go lower than 400 bucks. Hit that subscribe button, like, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.